Seems like the whole thing went down yesterday, because that's when it happened. Yesterday. I was in my classroom, sitting at my desk, pondering the life I'd chosen, the life of a debate forensics teacher. A life where nobody seemed to understand what it was you did. It was towards the end of my planning period, and I was preparing for my next class. That's when she walked in. Hey, Mr. Morris. Hey, yourself. Do you know me? Of course I know you. Everyone knows you. You're Miss Bada Bing. That's right. Bada Bing. Bada Bing. What can I do for you, Miss Bada Bing? I need your help. My help? Yes, your help. I need an investigation. An investigation? Yeah, right. You're the forensics teacher, right? Don't you investigate crimes and such? That's not what forensics is. At least, not in public schools. I could tell by the faraway look in her eyes, Miss Bada Bing wasn't listening to a word I was saying. She was in trouble, and even though it wasn't my job, I knew I had to help her. I had to. She was a dame, and I can't say no to a dame. So, what can I do for you, Miss Bing? Oh, thank you, Mr. Morris. It's so nice of you. Don't mention it. I just did. Just tell me what I need to know. Well, I've been feeling sick. Sick, huh? Yeah, sick. I just teach to be forensics, Miss Bing. I ain't no doctor. I didn't need no doctor. I got the internet. I googled my symptoms. Symptoms? Well, I've been feeling really tired. We're all tired, Miss Bean. We're teachers. And I've been getting headaches. I got 83 headaches. They're called my student. And I feel like I want to puke all the time. Of course you do. You teach junior high. And sometimes when I visit the little girl's room... Huh. So what did the internet tell you? It says I got... Hepatitis B. Hepatitis B? Uh -huh. But don't you get that from... From... Uh-huh. And have you been... And Mr. Morris, why would you say that? It's just, you got this reputation. I'm a good girl, Mr. Morris. Of course you are. I don't know why everyone says that about me. Well, you see, it's just that... Are you going to help me or not? Of course I'm going to help you. I said I was going to help you, and I'm a man of my word. I'll look into it. Uh, for now, go back to your room and I'll begin the investigation. Okay, but I sure hope you get this figured out before I have to see everybody at the end service. What end service? Later that day, I found myself walking the dark and lonesome hallways, sorting through Miss Bada Bing's case. Hepatitis B, and she had no idea how she got it. We all know the easiest way to get it, but Miss B says it ain't so. But is she telling the truth? I decided to talk with some of the men of the staff. Some of the men who might be a little sweet on a gal like Miss Bada Bing. I started with the teacher who was said to be the sweetest on Miss B. Our vocal teacher, Mr. J. Blind Kevin J. Who's that? It's Morris. Ah, Mr. Morris! The speech debate and forensics man. Say, what time is the bloodborne pathogen in service? I don't know what you're talking about. I hope they don't show another video again this year. I just seem to miss something. I want to ask you about Miss Bada Bing. I'd rather not talk about Miss Bada Bing. People say you're sweet on her. Oh, I was sweet. How sweet? Real sweet. But you see, she broke my heart. So you two never... Mr. Morris, I'm a gentleman, and Miss Bada Bing is a lady. Well... Besides, I may be blind, but I'm not too blind to see that Miss Bada Bing was sweet on someone else. Yeah? Who? From what I can tell, Miss Bada Bing's heart belonged to none other than Johnny T. Johnny T, you say? I think I might pay him a visit. Thanks, Kevin J. No problem, man. Johnny T was our school janitor, and one of the best. He could buff a floor so it shined like a diamond, and you never saw a speck of trash in our school. It was clean. Real clean. Normally you wouldn't think a teacher would be sweet on a janitor, but like I said, Johnny T was no ordinary janitor. Right, tell me about Miss Bada Bing. Yeah, Miss Bada Bing, she has something for me. Take it from your tone, it's not exactly a two-way street. Well, everybody likes Miss B. 
Yeah, she's something to look at, that's for sure. For sure. Well, if she likes you and you like her, I don't see why... You see this puddle? Yeah. Looks like water, sure, but it's not. See, some kid was showing off right after school. See, his friend dared him that he could drink from the water fountain for five minutes straight. No big deal, that's the kind of things boys do around here. But the problem was, his stomach wasn't up for the challenge. You mean he... All over the floor. Now it's mostly water. I've seen way worse. Still, a guy needs to take precaution. Precautions? Yeah, you never touch a kid's body fluids or vomit or anything that comes out of their body without the proper protection. You're talking about... I'm talking about gloves. Protection, man, that you need to put on before you deal with any kind of situation like this. And that's why I can't be with the likes of Miss Bada Bing. Huh? She's not safe. She's not cautious. I don't get it. You don't get it? You should get it. We all should get it. Now I gotta get this mess cleaned up before our in-service. What in-service? The Bloodborne Pathogen Safety Training Meeting. Maybe you should make it a point to go, Mr. Morris. My talk with Johnny T created more questions than answers, so I decided to pay a visit to the one person in the school who had an answer for everything. Our school secretary, Dollface McSmith. How you doing, Dollface? What's it to ya? I don't know. Okay, flowers, box of chocolates. Ah, eh, flowers die, chocolate give you thimbles. Just tell me what you want. I'm looking for something. I need we all. Miss Bottabing. She's in trouble. Of course she is. Miss Bottabing attracts trouble like flies to a chicken house. You may be right, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't stick together. She's the best English teacher we got. I hate it when you're right. <sighs> then you must really hate me. Just tell me what you know. I know everything. I'm the school secretary. Then you've heard. That Miss Bada Bing has hepatitis B. You do know. Are you surprised? Miss Bada Bing's looser than a clown's pocket. She says not. And I've got some Florida swamp land for sale. Look, Miss Bada Bing's in trouble, and she asked me to solve this hepatitis mystery, and I'm going to do it. And so are you. And you know why? Because if this information gets to the school board, Miss Bada Bing gets suspended. Or worse, she gets sick. And you know what either of those means for you. I gotta find a substitute. Maybe long term. That could be tough. What do you need to know? What's been happening in Miss B's room? Well, the other day she sent a girl to the office, but that wouldn't have anything to do with this. Maybe. Maybe not. Tell me more. Well, it's Wednesday, I think. Yeah, Wednesday. You know, the kind of day you know is gonna be trouble. And sure enough, during third hour, in walks Gretchen Fraley. Gretchen Fraley. Seventh grader, comes in a lot. Complaining of this and that, headaches, fever, dysentery. Usually it's all in her head. But not this time. This time it was her finger. The index finger on her left hand. It was bleeding. Bad. What did you do? I put on these latex gloves, see? And I wrapped her hand in a paper towel and I sent her on her way. To where? To the school nurse, of course. To Nurse Jamie. Now, if you'll excuse me, Mr. Morris, I got, a, I got work to do. I have to make an intercom announcement. About what? About the Bloodborne Pathogen Safety Training. Seems like we've been having trouble getting teachers to attend that. Sounds like I need to pay a visit to the nurse. I didn't know Nurse Jamie very well. My job doesn't cross paths with the school nurse too often. But I'd heard she was good. Real good. And while I couldn't make the connection between Gretchen Fraley and Miss Bada Bing's Hepatitis B... I was betting that a smart medical professional like Nurse Jamie could. I walked into her office, and there she was, nurse's cap and white stockings, looking like Florence Nightingale, frantically working at her laptop. Nurse Jamie, I need your help. What is it? Are you sick? Are you hurt? Do you need a flu shot? No, ma'am. Then scram. I got ten minutes to put together this in-service. Bloodborne pathogen safety? Yeah, how'd you know? I heard something. Like anyone's going to show up. I got dental screenings, flu shots, immunizations, and I have to put together this training together just in time for no one to show up. If you just give me a sec, it's about Miss Bada Bing. Ah, Miss Bada Bing. And a girl named Gretchen Fraley. Do you know Gretchen? I know Gretchen. I know Gretchen real good. She's seen you a lot? About twice a week. Twice a week? That's a lot. What's she here for? Mumps, measles, leg cramps. Irritable bowel syndrome, typhus. Typhus. Yeah, typhus. See, Gretchen Fraley is what you'd call a hypochondriac. Hypochondriac. Yeah, she thinks she's sick, but it's all in her head. That doesn't help me much. 
That's why I was surprised when she came in last Wednesday with a real medical emergency. The cut finger. That's right. She was bleeding bad. What happened? I didn't ask. See, Gretchen's crazy. A ding-a-ling. Bats in the belfry and all that. Whatever I asked her, she'd tell me she'd some crazy story that wasn't even true. Isn't your job to know? Of course it is. I called her parents, they took her to the emergency room, and I figured I'd look at the accident report when Miss Bada Bing turned it in. The accident report? Now we're getting somewhere. Where is it? Miss Bada Bing has yet to turn it in. But the accident was last week. Aren't we supposed to turn those in within 24 hours of the accident? You don't know Miss Mata Bing too well, do you? Sure, she's got the looks, and she's a heck of an English teacher, but she's plain right-brained. She probably misplaced the report. So maybe I should talk to Miss Mata Bing. You're smart. Real smart. I can see why you teach debate forensics. Thanks, Nurse Jamie. I owe you one. If you owe me one, why don't you do this in service for me? Or at least show up. I went up to Miss Bada Bing's room. I was on a mission. A mission to find out how Miss Bada Bing contracted hepatitis B. Somehow there was a connection between that and Gretchen Fraley, but I wasn't sure what. I found Miss B in her room, erasing her whiteboard. Miss B? Mr. Morris, you startled me. I've done some investigating, like you asked. Oh? I've talked to teachers, janitors, secretaries, and everything leads back to you. Me? Yeah, you. I need you to tell me everything you know about one of your students. Who? A Miss Gretchen Fraley. Oh, yeah, sure. Good kid. But I don't see what she would have to do with my hepatitis B. Just trust me. The girl ever cause any problems? Well, no. I mean, yeah, she likes to complain a lot. Complain? Yeah, she'll, she's always coming down with something. She'll say, Miss B, I think I'm getting a cold. Or Miss B, I've got a fever. And if she doesn't get enough attention, she amps it up. Amps it up. How so? Yeah, she'll say, oh, Miss B, I think I maybe have the avian flu, a Legionnaire's disease, a Zika virus, or the E. coli, a hepatitis B, or... Wait a minute. Did you say hepatitis B? Yeah. You don't suppose Gretchen Fraley gave me hepatitis B? Of course not. The girl's clearly a hypochondriac. Tell me, Miss B, what happened that day when Gretchen Fraley was injured in your class? Well, let's see. I was having my kids. My students cut out pictures from magazines to make a collage for a book report, you know? Go on. And Gretchen was cutting a picture out of the National Geographic, and she wanted to get it just right. So I let her use the utility knife because I thought she was responsible enough. Then what happened? Well, she didn't have that knife 30 seconds, but she sliced open her in index finger. Continue. She was bleeding bad, real bad. I got paper towels and wrapped around a hand to try to stop the bleeding, but I could see that she needed additional attention. So I sent it to the office. What about you? Me? I had blood all over my hands. I had to go to the little girl's room to clean up. I'm starting to get the picture. The picture? Yeah, the picture. I don't think you have hepatitis B. I don't. What you have is a case of guilt. Guilt? Guilt. Because you know you handled Gretchen's wound all wrong. What do you mean? I was supposed to let her bleed to death? Of course not. You did the right thing. But you left out one important detail. What's that? These must be gloves. Latex gloves. Protective gloves. You're supposed to protect yourself anytime you encounter bodily fluids of another person. Blood, vomit, urine. But... I know what you're going to say. Where do I get these gloves? Well, they're right here, in your classroom crisis kit bag. But... But nothing, Miss B. You get the gloves and you put them on before you help a student. But... It's an OSHA requirement, Miss B. It's the law. A law to protect yourself and the student. Bloodborne pathogens are a serious thing. But I don't understand. You don't understand how you thought you had hepatitis B? I do. And I'll be happy to explain it to you, but you'll have to come with me. Where are we going? I have to present at an in-service. I have to do a favor for a special lady. And so you see, my fellow staff, these are the dangers of bloodborne pathogens. We need to protect ourselves, use proper precautions. When faced with bodily fluids of another person, whether it be a student or a fellow staff member, use proper protection. Use the latex gloves provided in your classroom crisis kit. Put the gloves on, like this. Be safe. 
Now, as it turns out, Miss Bada Bing does not have hepatitis B. A student had falsely reported having the disease, and Ms. B, having encountered the student's blood after an accident, believed she had contracted hepatitis after experiencing inexplicable symptoms. Perhaps it was her subconscious. Perhaps it was guilt. But had she used gloves when coming to the aid of the student, it never would have occurred to her that she might have hepatitis B. She would have merely thought she had the flu, or perhaps be pregnant. Wait, what? And so, staff, remember, always protect yourself. Thank you for attending this very important in-service. This school is pathetic.